Hi guys, Andy here again from Mad Lab Designs, continuing the playthrough of Dungeon Quest. When we last left, Sir Roland our Knight had a major battle, which left him down to one hit point, and he also has a Doom Shadow following him. I don't know whether he'll survive his next turn, we'll have to wait and see. And Azoth is also low on hit points, but not as low as Sir Roland. <laughs> um, but he did manage to evade a death warrior using his invisibility spell. And we'll start with Sir Roland, which means we move the Sun Tracker. And randomly pick a tile. We shall have this one, which is a corridor. Nice. There we go, corridor for Sir Roland. And he can take another go, and I'll grab another tile, which is this one. And it's going to be a normal room. Is that a dead end room? Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, so that is going to go there. Which of course means, whoops, we're going to have to pick a room card and see what we get. Giant spider, oh dear me. Now, with this giant spider, I can choose I can choose to attack it, or I can choose to flee and try and run away from it. If I try and run away from it, I've got to roll a d6, and on a three, four, five, or six, I manage to escape, and on a one or two, I have to fight it, or I can stay and fight it. Um, and I think I'm going to stay and fight it and in order to fight this spider I'll just pop that there I need to pick three numbers on a d6 and say them out loud and if I roll those numbers the spider's killed if not Sir Roland is going to lose a hit point <laughs> so is it worth me fleeing because Sir Roland only has one hit point so I've got a 50-50 chance of defeating this spider but of course if I lose Sir Roland is going to lose and be killed but one thing uh, a couple of things I forgot to do oh dear a couple of things I forgot to do was the doom shadow right sort all these out the doom shadow if I roll a one then the doom shadow has killed me anyway so don't roll a one, don't roll a one, don't roll a one, don't roll a one. We get a seven. So the Doom Shadow has not killed us, but we are going to use our Ring of Healing. We're going to use this, it's a one time use only. So that is now used. Gives us five hit points back, which takes us up to one, two, three, four, five. So yes, Sir Roland is going to attack this spider. A d6 and we'll pick um, one, two and three. So if we get one, two and three, the spider is killed. And we get a six. <laughs> Which means a point comes off Sir Roland. Which is lucky he used his Ring of Healing. Otherwise he would have been dead. Right, so I'll move that out of the way. I'll keep that spider there because Sir Roland has to keep attacking it each go. But it is Azoth's turn now. Um, and he's going to move in this direction. I'm going to grab a tile. Uh, 
and it's a room. And it's an empty room. Okay, that was uh, that was okay. The sun tracker needs to be moved. Next, we need to try and kill this spider. I'm gonna pick. Oh, I don't know. Um, two, four, six, and it's a six. that the spider has been defeated. Move that out of the way. That is the end of Sir Roland's turn, because that's all you can do is attack the spider. Move this out of the way. And now we'll try for Azoth. Uh, and of course he's gonna go this way. See if he can get to the treasure chamber. Pick a tile. Make it a good one. <laughs> ah. Oh, right, okay. This room means that you cannot cross the chasm. You have to go that way. So I'm going to have to put this with a blue arrow, like so, which means he's going to be moving in that direction. Oh dear. So we'll pop this down. There we go. We do still grab a room card. And this room is empty. Okay. Next up we have Sir Roland. But of course, the Sun Tracker continues on. And I think the Doom Shadow, oh, mustn't forget that Doom Shadow. get a one <laughs> and we got a four that's okay so Roland is going to but he can't do much unless he goes back but he can search and that's what he's going to do so what we grab is one of these square search cards and what do we get we get a giant centipede Fantastic. <laughs> D12 damage. Oh no. So we roll a D12 and take that much damage. Right, here we go. Giant centipede. Sir Roland has five hit points. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Oh. We have 11. <laughs> really? Well, Sir Roland definitely is giant centipede food, I'm afraid. Sir Roland has bit the dust, literally. <laughs> right, Sir Roland is dead, but we still have Azoth and as of yet he has no treasure so really all he has to do is get one piece of treasure any treasure and then try and get back out so we'll clean up a bit that goes out the way the giant centipede rumbles back into the dungeon after having a hearty meal of Sir Roland and of course Sir Roland is no more and I think I will well I think Azoth We'll do a search, see if he can find some treasure and then make it back out. 
here we go. Azoth has God, make it treasure, nothing. Marvellous. Right, uh, as Sir Roland has been chowed down on, it's still Azoth's turn for the next go, but we move the sun to that. And then Azoth is going to search again. You can search twice, then you have to move. So his second search is treasure, please. Oh. Surprise. See the catacombs reference. Right, I'm just going to check what this does. Okay, here's our surprise. While you are searching, a ghoul sneaks up on you and wrestles you to the ground. You'll have to rely on brute strength. Azoth has a strength of one. <laughs> You'll have to rely on brute strength to defeat this creature. Roll a d6 to see how many life points the ghoul has. Then roll the d10. If the score is equal or less than your strength, the ghoul loses one life point. And if it's greater than your strength, you lose one life point. Can carry on fighting till either of you are dead. So basically I have to roll a 1 or less. <laughs> oh, right, I wonder if I can use one of Azoth's spells. Let's take a look. Well, Azoth actually has this one, Fireball. It will destroy any monster or knock down a door or portcullis. But he must miss a turn. Well, seeing as Azoth's strength is one and he needs to roll one or less... On his strength, I don't think he's going to do it. So, I think we shall use the fireball spell. So this ghoul has been destroyed by a fireball spell. Put that away. But Azoth must miss his next turn. So, it's his turn now. Remove the sun tracker. He misses this turn, comes on to his turn again with the Sun Tracker. Right, now he has searched twice, if I'm correct, means he must move. Which way shall he move? He's got the options of moving this way, or he can move back. He cannot get to the treasure chamber because remember, there's a big chasm in the way. Let's just take a look. So I can only move this way. Um, actually, we shall move back. We'll move back one. And grab a room card. To crypt. Shall we search for that crypt? Shall we search it? Maybe treasure? Mm, I think we shall. So when searching for a crypt, sorry, when searching the crypt that we've come across, we actually grab one of these cards, <laughs> which is shaped like a crypt. Which is one thing I like about this original dungeon quest, is all the cards are shaped. Um, for example, a corpse card. You see it's shaped like a corpse. The reprint does not do this, it's just square normal cards. So we have a crypt. What's in this crypt? Shuffle the deck and take another card. Oh, okay. So shuffle the deck. Nearly dropping them all. Oops. And then we shall take this one, which is a potion. Ooh. Let's take a look at what the potion might be. There we go. So, any time we want to drink that potion, it could be any of these. Is it worth drinking it, do you think? 
He has got five hit points left. I think I will have a go at drinking this potion. So Azoth, uncorking this murky liquid, is going to take his chances. Let's see. Here we go. Roll a d12, which I'm going to do right now. We get a seven. Consult the chart. Let's see, make it something good. No effect. Either it was just water <laughs> or the potion's been there so long that the effects have already worn off. Remove this. Again, the sun tracker moves. Ah, the sun is now fading. Mm, dear. He's going to search again. This will be his second search of this room. He's found another potion. <laughs> okay. Shall we drink it and see what happens? Yeah, why not? Let's push our luck. That's a 10. Let's see what it says on our portion chart. Number 10, weak poison. Oh, I lose two life points. Oh, that's off. Told you not to drink it. <laughs> so we've got one, two. Okay. Azoth's next turn. Sun's going down. And he's going to try and make it home because all he needs is just one piece of treasure. So he's actually going to start making it out of the castle. He can't reach, there's no way he can reach the treasure chamber. So he's just going to try and make it out and hopefully on his way he will grab some treasure. So here we go. We grab a room card. it's empty Sun Tracker moves Azoth moves room card passage down now does he want to go into the, the catacombs not at this time because he wants to try and get out so going down this passage, you'd end up in the catacombs and the catacomb rules would then apply. But he's not going to take this passage down. And in fact, I'm actually going to put the passage down. So I hope you'll see that. So there is now a passage down in that room. But he's not going to go down it. Right. His next turn is he going to make, is he going to grab some treasure before he can make it out? So he's going to search. That's what he's going to do. Let's see if he can come up with some treasure. A secret door. All right. Well, that doesn't really matter at this stage. It just means I could move in a direction where there was no exit. But there's exits on every side, so I'm going to ignore that. Sun Tracker moves. Oh, it's a race against time. It's going to move. Grab a room card. Dead Adventurer. Does he want to search this dead adventurer? He certainly does, because he wants treasure. Which is where these cards, which I've just shown you. Let's see if we get something. <laughs> Nothing. Right. Okay. Next turn. Oh. 
Azoth is moving. It is a room card. Another dead adventurer. Yes, we're going to search this dead adventurer. Just one piece of treasure, please. <laughs> oh, oh no, another nothing. Right. Sun Tracker. Azoth and room card. No. Not what we wanted at this late stage of the game. <laughs> Here we go. You have been surprised by a vampire. He attacks swiftly, trying to bite you, and then turns into a bat and flies off before you can defend yourself. To find out if the vampire manages to bite you, you must roll less than your armour or agility, whichever is higher, on a d12. If you fail, place this card beside your character sheet and you have been bitten and infected with the curse of the undead. You immediately lose one life point and then will lose one life point at the start of each turn from now on. The only way to survive is to get out of Dragonfire Castle where your companions will be able to cure you. If you die, you will rise as a vampire in three days' time and become a guardian of Dragonfire Castle for all eternity. So, as I must pick either agility or armour and then roll less than that. So let's take a look. Well, his agility is four and his armour is three. So it's going to be his agility. So we need to roll less than four on a d12. Right. Less than four, okay, less than four. And we roll a 12. <laughs> Couldn't get any higher. Right, so Azoth immediately loses a life point. I think he's gonna be turned into a vampire just before he leaves. Okay, let's take a look, see what happens. The sun. Tracker needs moving. I've got three turns to get out. Because of the vampire, we must lose a life point. Actually, I've just noticed you have this, which means then I can regain all lost hit points and that is what I'm going to do <laughs> so this has been used all these hit points come back so we could actually make it out we just have to try and grab some treasure okay we shall we shall search. We're gonna search, see what we get. Just one piece of treasure. Nothing. Sun tracker moves. Azoth is going to move. And grab a room card. Empty. <laughs> Must lose one hit point for the vampire. Next turn. Oh dear, look at that. Almost sundown. Right, so you must lose one hit point. Whoops from the vampire now there's a corridor there which means he, once he's onto the corridor he can move again and get to there so it might be a good idea to search for one piece of treasure treasure please make a treasure yeah oh no 
We're not actually using amulets in this game. Um, amulets are, let me just grab one. So this is an amulet card. And the player to your right actually draws this, not you. And the player to the right looks at what it does and remembers when it activates. So you don't know when it activates, but the person to your right does. And then this will come into play when obviously this 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 becomes true but you don't know so the idea is you picking an amulet you don't know what the amulet does if you're going to wear it it could be good it could be bad and when you do something that triggers this that's when the player to your right reads what the amulet does obviously there's no player to my right so i'm not going to use this so I'm going to actually draw another search card. And it's a trap. Take a trap card. Oh. <laughs> and here we have a trap card. No doubt it's going to be bad. definitely bad not because of the damage because Azoth can take it but because he's going to miss a turn oh dear okay let's see how that works out so it's going to lose four life points two three four going to end his turn so it is as us next turn you can see what's coming here can't you <laughs> and he misses this turn and that is it so close all he needed was one piece of treasure and he could have gotten out um, I mean, he could have gone out anyway, but if you come out with no treasure, it's the same as losing. You need some treasure to come out. But unfortunately, the treasure just wasn't there in Dragonfire Castle. Azoth has been sealed in and is now becoming one of the many, many denizens trapped in Dragonfire Castle. So, poor Sir Roland was killed and poor Azoth was also killed well that is Dungeon Quest I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough um, it is a brutal game But it's definitely worth playing. Because if it was too easy, then you really wouldn't want to bother playing the game again if you beat it constantly. But it's just, it's that one more go. It's that, oh, I'm going to beat it this time go that you get from Dungeon Quest. Right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will do another Dungeon Quest playthrough sometime in the future. But until then... I will catch you guys later.